Hello there, welcome back to Why in the Morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. A Why a Y254 challenge they can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social in this particular session we dive into an interview that looks at adventure and fitness sort of a kind of a business all right if you have ever gotten into a fitness journey there's always a struggle in between, especially if you're not consistent. Hello, I'm speaking for so many people out there. And how about if we incorporate adventure? So it's a little bit of uh, regular, regular fitness routine with activities that are taken out outdoors. So you enjoy yourself as well as uh, reaching out to your specific goal when it comes to fitness. In, in studio, I'm joined by Tai Odero. He's the CEO of Authentic Fitness and Adventure. Thank you very much, Tai, for creating time to be with us. Karibu. I am so excited about this conversation. Yes. Let me just even start from there. Because I feel like this is so unique whereby you incorporate uh, fitness and then taking, out, taking it all out there to adventure. So starting us off, tell us more about authentic fitness and adventure. Uh, oh, authentic fitness and adventure uh, is a company that has existed for the last three years. We are based at Ambank House, 13th floor. Uh, we deal in uh, ticketing, uh, hotel bookings, airport transfers, car rentals, uh, fitness trainers. We also do uh, team buildings, hikings, group safaris, and private safaris, oh. among others, yes. Okay, so what led to the, what started first? Uh, was, did it just start as a package of fitness and adventure? What was uh, the initial starting point when it comes to this particular company? No, we started as a, a fitness company. Okay. And actually was a, as a passion. I started as a passion. Uh, used to do aerobics, uh, yoga, different gyms. And then I had contracts with different gyms uh, along my locality. And now uh, there these clients used to push me like, uh, why don't you organize a, an outdoor activity, a boot camp or so? So, I used to do uh, outdoor activity every Sunday at Aboretum. Okay. I was charging my clients uh, 200 shillings. 50 shillings was for the entrance, and uh, 150 shillings was uh, now my profit. So, I used to carry my Bluetooth speaker, that's a small one. Then we could just put some music, people could do aerobics, people could do Zumba, people could do yoga, mm -hmm. then go back in the evening. Mm -hmm. So it started like that, uh, across these gyms. The owner of the gym decided uh, now it's time to chase this guy out because uh, he's going to take over our clients. So I was shocked to receive uh, uh, some news through my phone, uh, you're fired, you should not come to work here again. So because now I used to be employed before the medical field, but now I was doing uh, part-time uh, uh, training at the gyms every evening, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, different gyms. So I was here like, uh, now I'm fired there and I have passion in this thing. Why should I now start my own? The same, same client who I used to train uh, in Arboretum, 